Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw an ice melting polar bear. I will use a beautiful Kaweco SketchUp mechanical pencil with a thick soft lead. The list of materials is in the information below the video. To begin the drawing I will use the envelope technique by first sketching up the outline of the figure. This is the back, then the leg, the lower part of the neck. And once we have the super simplified shape, we can begin giving it more detail, like so. Let's sketch the shapes of the snout, the neck, the legs. Here goes the front one. And actually, I drew the bottom half of the body too large, so I reduced it. The base. Soon I will model a clay sculpture of this. You will see it in another tutorial. And we do even more detail. So you start with the main big shapes and then you do more and more detail. The eye here. And now we're ready to start shading. As it is a bear made of eyes, it is somehow similar to a crystal one. It will be reflective with dark reflections like the ones I am doing and also some bright ones. But first, with this pencil, we are doing the dark and middle ones. And we can smudge with a tissue paper, going over the graphite lightly, so as to smooth it. And I clean up the paper with an eraser. As you see, I'm drawing on grey paper. Grey cardboard paper, actually. I erase the spots where I want to get the bright reflections. This to have the paper ready to receive the white pencil. And the reflections usually follow the shapes of the bear, of course. I'm using a pointed eraser and also a kneaded eraser. And now to make more contrasting the bright reflections, I darken a little bit around or by some of them. And with a white pencil, now we give these reflections. And I will smudge a little bit more the graphite as needed, using a blender just to smooth out the border of some dark areas. Polar bears are a vulnerable species. This because of their habitat loss due to climate change. They live mainly on ice sea and every year there is less of it. We need to implement more actions to take care of this. And as this vulnerable bear will be melting, I erase the base and the legs and we will draw some water instead. We make some more reflections over here, almost wherever the piece is turning. And now we draw the little pond of water that I was talking about, uh, the result of the ice melting, and some droplets. Very good. I like it how it is looking. Let's smudge the borders a little bit. And with the kneaded eraser, I make the line just a little bit thinner. That's better. And here to the right I will make another wave of the water, like this. Very good. We are almost there. I'll smudge it a little bit and add some more reflections and a reflection of the bear on the water. I try to imagine how would look the reflection of the bear on the water and that is what we follow. Very good. We do the last details, give it the last touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.